Oh my god, why is it so dark? Well, hello. <laughs> Nobody fucking tells you on the internet what it's really like to move a horse or travel with a horse or whatever. It's expensive, it's time consuming, it's stressful. There's so many things that go into it and granted I'm a very OCD person and I was like, you know what, fuck this. This is so stressful. This is the craziest thing I've ever done in my entire life and I'm gonna film this whole process because I want people to know what this is actually like. It is 8.50 in the morning, April 29th. Today's the biggest day of my life thus far. Ugh, just everything is stressful, everything is crazy. If I would have had somebody tell me this shit before I got into this and realized what the fuck I was getting myself into. I've been sleeping on the floor for like two days. I'm literally so happy and excited to be sleeping in a bed tonight at the hotel in Utah. It's so empty in my apartment. <laughs> I am really gonna miss this place. Going down. All right, buddy, load up. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Come my bluff, I'm gonna be you till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you Loaded. Um, Rex is loaded. Ivar's loaded. We're gonna stop in about three hours. Here we go, here we go again. Time is up and I'm calling up my friends. Ain't no one to why, ain't no one to ride to. Here we go, here we go again. Call me up and you wanna be my We still have about 540 miles left. Fuck, seven hours, fuck. I just sedated Link again. He's doing pretty good. He's had a few uh, temper tantrums, as I like to call them, um, <laughs> which I'll show right now. He's had a few temper tantrums uh, just because, like I said, uh, this is the absolute longest he's ever been in the trailer for. Um, he's not happy about it, for sure. Uh, but you know, it is what it is and he is gonna have to get over it at some point I just wanted to inform you guys that I am now fucking like three hours in or some shit and uh, tired as fuck
so far, <laughs> we have driven through hailstorm, uh, blizzard, and a uh, major rain in like, what, six hours I've been driving now? I'm about halfway through Utah right now. Literally, I'm at this like fucking abandoned gas station. I mean, it's not abandoned, but it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Um, I'm gonna let Rex out to go to the bathroom. I'm going to, um, actually, I don't think I'm gonna redose Link. Uh, he already had two doses today, and I don't think I'm gonna give him another one because he's been doing really well inside the trailer. Oh God, my back hurts so bad. We've been driving for like seven, maybe eight hours now. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Double checking to make sure that all of this is still tied down properly. I've been driving for like fucking ever and I still like the sun's going down in Utah and I still have like four hours to drive, bitch. I had to call, oh my God, so embarrassing. I was supposed to be at the horse hotel way earlier, but we had such bad weather driving here that I just drove way slower. I'm just hoping that I can get there, you know what I mean? like my fifth coffee for the day I am gonna die <laughs> I'm so tired and we still have two and a half hours to go fuck me bitch you know that I love you and I'm missing <laughs> felt so bad the guy comes out and he's like oh we're so happy to have you and I'm like bitch I wouldn't I'm fucking here at like 1 a.m. are you kidding me if I owned this place I'd be so fucking pissed at me I'd be like bitch you're not staying here fuck off Rex and I are getting ready to head over to our hotel um, I gotta grab my bags out my hotels just down the road from this place I'm just having a lift come pick me. so I just got to my hotel you guys there was literally only one go potty Go potty. Rex is going to the bathroom right now. There was only one Lyft driver in this fucking town. That bed looks like something I'm getting ready to fucking ruin. I'm so tired. Oh 
Okay, I'm just getting ready to uh, pick up a lift and I'm gonna take it back out to the um, horse hotel. I'm gonna ride him around a little bit, uh, kind of clean up his legs because he threw that temper tantrum in the trailer yesterday um, and just kind of cut up one of his legs a little bit. This is where Link is staying. I'm gonna give him some hay, uh, take him out for some trail rides, have a little bit of fun. Yeah, little muffin. So this is my hay bag. This is an alfalfa grass mix. His water is not dirty, there's just hay in there. I'm just gonna kind of grab some of the hay and pull it out. Always bring your own food, not because other facilities necessarily have bad food, but you just never know what they're gonna give your horse. I went ahead and pulled out all the old shavings, put half a bag of new shavings in, um, cleaned everything out. Stand. Good boy. Good. Good boy. You excited for these puddles? Oh my god. He might actually try to lay down. Please, for the love of God, don't lay down in this, buddy. Good boy. Oh, that's really pretty. Good boy! Good boy! Just got his dinner. I look like shit, feel like shit. I'm gonna fucking go back to my hotel. I'm gonna get a lift and um, I'm probably gonna go to bed. We're gonna drive to LA today, huh? We are ready to go. So are you from here? No, I am from Denver, actually. Hi, little goof man. So I'm just going to brush him super fast. No, you wait until I get out, crazy psycho. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna dose him with his last dose of Ace Promazine. It literally just goes under his tongue. I know, little goof, hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know you don't want me to shut it, buddy. <laughs> I know you don't want me to shut it, but we gotta shut it. Let's go.
trying hard, but you want to be my friend. In a place to hide, in a one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'm going to be here till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you Um, where do you want me to pull? You pull along there. Okay. And make sure to get your flight straight and your truck is straight because it's people. Okay. okay. So I just got stopped again um, at the California border. Okay. This means that I can now successfully cross the border. Let's go. I'm here. I didn't film for the last few days just because I was moving in and kind of getting all my stuff settled. And honestly, I could not be any happier. I love it here. The last few days have been incredible and so amazing. First things first, I just want to say if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Please go check out the Wally and Link clothing line because that supports this channel. And also thank you to all of you guys who do support it. But I want to take you guys out to the barn and show you guys Link's living situation. This boarding facility took me almost six or seven months to find. I seriously am I'm so picky with where I will board my horse. He has to have the adequate housing available to him, meaning he has to have a large enough pasture. And in Southern California, there's not many places that have big pasture board. He is actually in a, I think, 40 by 40 um, individual paddock space right now, just so that way we can monitor his health for a week or two, and then he can go out to pasture. So let's go. <laughs> I always board at like family owned facilities. I personally believe that family owned facilities are the best 
um, not even really for price, but just because family-owned facilities, generally speaking, have the most land for your horse and offer the best accommodations. They're very quiet and laid-back places. But anyway, Rex and I were both pretty swamped and very tired, and I'm still moving in, so we're gonna head back, and we got Game of Thrones tonight, bitch. Also, guys, make sure to go check out the Shop Raleigh and Link. Thank you so much. I love you. I hope you enjoyed watching our move because, bitch, was it stressful? Absolutely, it was stressful. Most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> it's time to go home. <laughs>